Hi everyone, in this video I want to discuss about all the possibilities that are opened up by Google Home and the potentially huge new market of voice apps that it will create. Just like when Apple released the first iPhone and, more importantly, the App Store, it created the huge global market of mobile apps that we all use today. So all the businesses, all the Ubers, Tinders, Whatsapps, Snapchats, absolutely all of those have been made possible by the creation of the App Store back in 2008. So you can just imagine the size of the market that it created. And now I personally believe that Google Home and potentially other home assistants like Alexa and maybe Siri, if Apple releases one, will also become really big and create a whole new market for voice apps. But of course voice is much more limited than the screen of a phone, so I obviously don't expect it to become anywhere close to the size of the mobile apps market. But I still think that it's going to be huge anyway and open up a lot of opportunities for new startups. First of all, a little overview of how we came to this point. I think that Google Home is the culmination of the bot trend that has been going on for a few years now. And just like with anything new, a lot of the first attempts ended up failing. And everything that's based on messaging, like when Facebook opened up its messenger platform to release bots on it, also didn't really take off. And I think that the reason for this is simple, it's just as long as you still use your phone screen, interacting with it in a conversational way is just a nice to have feature, but not a substantial change. You could open an app or just press buttons and you would achieve the same thing just as fast. So conversational messaging interfaces are nice, they're fun, but not enough to make a huge impact. However, the technology behind these conversational interfaces, the natural language processing, is key. That's what makes it all possible. And now enter Alexa from Amazon. First of all, thanks Amazon for making this great innovation. Now it became much more interesting. You have a new device in your home and you can interact with it using your voice. So it's an absolutely new interface, right? A new way of communication. And behind the scenes, it combines two great technologies, voice recognition and natural language processing. Finally, Google Home came later than Alexa, but turns out to be much better. That's because Google has a much bigger ecosystem for itself compared to Amazon. First of all, it has Google Google search. And what's a better bot than Google itself, right? So Google Home can answer many questions much better than Alexa because it leverages Google search technology and understands which paragraphs on different websites are relevant for your question. Also, Google Home can connect to Chromecast and play anything you want on your TV. For example, I just say, OK, Google, play the latest Trevor Noah on TV. OK, playing the latest Trevor Noah from YouTube on TV. And it launches the latest Trevor Noah video on my TV through Chromecast because I called my Chromecast TV. I don't need to take my phone, open the YouTube app, search for Trevor Noah and press the cast button. It's all done in just one sentence. And there are of course a lot of other devices that can make your home smart and that you can control with Google Home. Finally, there's the basic stuff, like telling the weather, the traffic conditions, playing news, setting reminders, creating shopping lists, calling people, etc. All of this either already works great or will work perfectly very soon as Google Home is being constantly updated. So why do I think that Google Home is the next big thing and is going to become even better? Well, some examples are already here. You can order an Uber using Google Home or a pizza from Domino's. You can watch Netflix or listen to Spotify if you have a subscription. And all of this just gives you an example of what are the possibilities in the future. So these are other common services that many people use, right? But imagine yourself and your life and what features would you like to have? In my case, I sell Udemy courses and I rent apartments. So I would love to be able to ask the following things. Hi, Pavel. What do you want to know? Do I have any new students for my Udemy course? Today you got seven new students for your Udemy courses and two new reviews. Would you like more details? Yes, more details, please. You got three new students for the startup course and four new students for your innovation course. And uh, what about my apartments? Do I have any new guests arriving? Yes, you have two guests arriving today at 6 p.m. in Cannes. Of course, these are not dynamic answers in real time. They are written text that I created, so don't freak out. But technically, there is nothing that prevents this from working for real with up-to-date information from these services. 
Another thing I love is astronomy. I have a telescope and I do observations, but I either notice which planets are up in the night sky when I look up, or I check on Stellarium, or I check on heavens above for the satellites and stuff. So I would love to be able to ask Google Home questions like this. Hi Pavel, what do you want to know? Are there any planets visible in the sky tonight? Tonight, Jupiter will be visible after 10 p.m. with a magnitude of minus 1, 57. Later in the night, Saturn will be visible at 2 a.m. with a magnitude of 0, 29. And what about the satellites? Are there any? Yes, the International Space Station will cross the sky at 7.22 p.m. from northwest with a maximum magnitude of minus 3.7. Also, you can observe a bright iridium flare at 6.11 p.m. of a minus 7 magnitude. So, as you can see, most of the information that you need can be delivered through Google Home in a faster way than with other interfaces. So, imagine what you need in your life and which services could be suited for you which don't exist yet. For example, if you have invested in some stocks, you may want to know how they're doing and if there are some good or bad news about the companies you invested in which are making these stocks fluctuate. Or ask Google to do things for you like answer an email, send a message or make a reservation at a restaurant tonight. It will basically make you more productive, save you time and once these kind of things will actually be working, the best thing about it is that Google Home will act and deliver that information to you in a super cool way. Which brings me to the last point. The voice interaction of this kind, when it works well, is just really cool. It's futuristic, like in the movies. And all the technology is there to make it work perfectly. It just needs more time and contribution from more and more developers to reach that perfection point. And it's not there at all as I'm recording this video, but I can see how it will get there. So yeah, I'm convinced that these voice interfaces are really going to become huge very soon and that there are many business opportunities that are coming along with them. Unfortunately, this video is becoming a bit too long, so I will stop here, but I hope that it already gives some ideas to those of you with entrepreneurial spirit who want to build startups. And just as a reminder, I have two great Udemy courses, one about startups and one about innovation. They're both among the best in their categories and I would love to see you inside. So if you're interested, all the links are in the description. Take care and till next time.